This video is to remind myself and others to step out of your comfort zone. Don't settle for less. Dream big. And don't stay in a place that you're unhappy. The other side of reality of Australia that nobody shows on social media is also that you work in really shitty jobs in places you don't feel happy. You miss your family so much. Especially with COVID, it's been two years. I don't see my parents. You have a degree and you're working cleaning toilets yeah it's good money compared to our countries but thank you but it's also really shit you feel really low and we just tell ourselves this is temporary of course but that's the other reality that people don't show on social media about australia it is also hard the life of an immigrant so just my advice is don't stay comfortable where you are um, always want more be very ambitious and don't stay where you're not happy or don't feel good leave you can do so much more you're definitely capable of doing so much more so believe in yourself and step out of your comfort zone and dream big because where you are now doesn't define the person you are or it doesn't mean that you're gonna be there for the last 10 years of your life unhappy so if you're not happy i i push you to reach for your dreams and do what really makes you happy So I press record. Maybe let me clean the screen. So I figured I'd do this video exactly how I am. Um, because I have a lot of thoughts in my mind. So when you look back at this, Diana, this video is for you. When you look back at this, remember... Oops. It's just to remember that you put yourself into the situation. Um, and I've been listening to a lot of podcasts recently, which I'm so grateful that um, they exist. <laughs> because every day I have 11 hour shifts. It's really, really long. Um, some days I'm motivated. Some days I'm happy. But most of the days I'm not. And it's really hard. Um... So yeah, the podcasts have really inspired me and taught me so much. Also, when you put yourself in hard, tough situations, I think those are the times that teaches you the most. So working here has been such, such a challenging and tough ride physically. Oh, look, I'm sweating so much. Physically and mentally. Especially mentally. Like, you have no idea how many times I've cried. How many times I felt frustrated. How many times I felt stuck. How many times I felt I'm not going to make it. How many times I felt like quitting. And how many times I blamed uh, 
other resources or um, not people, but other circumstances for me being here. Like migrating to a new country, like having to extend my visa, like, um, I don't know, being picked to do the shitty ass jobs. Um, but at the same time, I reminded myself that everything happens for a reason. And Lord Jesus, has this been such a big lesson for me. First, to have patience that my time to shine will come. Second, to trust the pot. Second, to trust the process, trust timing. And third, to be prepared. And obviously, like I always say, to never, never settle for less. Or never settle in the situation where you're not happy and just say like, this is a life that chose me and I'm never going to be more than this. So I'm just going to have to deal this with this for the rest of my life, which in this industry of hospitality, I've seen that so much. And that's why most of the people like know me as I complain and blah, blah. But it's because I know like for me, I can do better. And there's something better out there for me waiting. And, you know, sometimes I just want to like don't run I don't want to run the marathon and just reach to the end and this process of this um job has really taught me that you cannot reach the end without running the marathon if that makes sense um so yeah I put myself in this situation so a few months back I was working in early beach um, beautiful paradise place um, I did complain as well maybe because I'm just so tired of doing housekeeping and scrubbing toilets and making beds and picking up after people's shit or flushing people's shit and piss in the toilet when they can't even press a button I'll leave some videos so you guys can see um, I'm just so tired of that and because I know I can do much more and that my purpose in life is more than just this and that's sometimes a message I try to give my colleagues that the world is so big and there's more out there for them than just this most of these jobs obviously we're very fortunate to win the money we win doing this um, but it is mentally and physically tiring and I consider these jobs temporary so that's the message I try to give other people that you're not just a cleaner you're not just a housekeeper like you're much more than that so look for it search for it and go for it um, but yeah just depends on the purpose that everybody has and how much they believe in themselves so yeah this has been a big 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 journey for me but i'm so grateful that life put me into this situation it was meant to happen i wanted it as well as i said i was working in early beach paradise place loved it but i said like i want to go do mine work i want to go to a mine campsite and work there um, because I had a, a goal, which was to make money fast and then pursue my dream. So yeah, I'm definitely, am um, making that goal come true. Um, but to be honest, like, it's so crazy. I, for sure, we're saving so much money and making so much money here fast. But I think at the end... I came to realize that obviously I've always known money is not happiness like I cannot work here for more than a year not even a year I don't make it just for the money because it does not make me happy but also that mm, my purpose here to coming here and why life put me here 
was not really to make money and pursue my dream. It was to realize, really realize how much patience I needed to learn and how much I needed to believe in myself that I can do anything I put my mind to. So the mind is so, so powerful. Like you have no idea. I've always believed in this. And I just recently, a few years ago, started practicing this. That's how I made it to Australia as well. It was a big, big dream I had. Felt it was kind of impossible to do. And voila, I'm here two years um, already. Which has been the best experience of my life. And has taught me just so much about life and about myself. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, trusting my gut as well believing in myself at that moment and obviously like everybody is a roller coaster I don't feel motivated or believe in myself all the di- all the time every day or every dream or decision I make in my life it's a big roller coaster but the most important is when you're down you remember to go up and believe in yourself so yeah just wanted to share that with you guys and share a bit of my experience here in the mine with you guys as well because for me it has been very 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 challenging and i know on social media you guys probably have seen me suffer and complain i've even had some comments of lots of friends like saying stop complaining and blah blah or and here in the mine as well even my bosses and supervisors are like stop complaining blah blah it's a job like be grateful for sure i am definitely grateful for it but i complain because first like um we have a voice and i believe our voice has to be heard so if you don't feel good somewhere or doing something you should say it don't stay quiet so that's why i I was complaining because like we're super tired it's very hard or work and others don't realize that and they think we're fucking you know iron man or superman and can do the work and like just like this like fairy god appearance like bing 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 no so that's why i would complain because like i have a voice and i could be heard so yeah and also because I know I deserve better and everybody does that wants to real that really wants something better they deserve it and they can make it so yeah and I feel like complaining is also a process at least for me of what I feel and let it out so I do realize when I'm complaining way too much like relax yourself to let it out and then think positive again so i like to let all the negative thoughts leave my mind leave my body and leave my soul and then have positive thoughts come in so for me it's a process too and it's okay to do it so yeah just wanted to share that with you guys ask yourself these next questions like um where are you in life now is it exactly where you want to be are you happy with the life you're living now are you happy with your current job are you happy with your current relationship it's important to think about that can you be happier um have you accomplished many dreams in your life um what's holding you back to accomplish those dreams and goals is it because you're scared um is it because your mindset is not 100 percent ready for it so those are important questions to maybe reflect on that I've been doing a lot here and so yeah that's what I wanted to share with you guys here in this video um no filter 
no edits straightforward of what i'm thinking and how i'm feeling especially today that this journey for me is almost over this chapter in my life and i'm gonna start a really big one and a new one so um, it's that it's also what i learned is you know step out of your comfort zone all the time don't be scared like the worst that can happen is you learning a lesson it's the worst that can happen so don't be scared to step out of your comfort zone and try something big try something for you that will make you happy and don't settle for less like you know, I'm quitting this job where I win $2,000 a week. Like, it's insanely good. Um, it is insanely hard, but there are easy days as well. So it is an okay job. But, you know, I always ask myself or what I tell other people that I see are years in this industry. Like, you know, if this is, makes you happy or okay like it's good for you but do you really want to be like making beds and scrubbing toilets for the rest of your life is that does that fulfill you and like your future and your dream it's definitely not what i wanted so you know i'm just like okay what do i really want so i ask myself a lot like what do i really want what is my main dream and goal how can I get there? What do I need? And, you know, just dive in the pool. It's that, you know, just dive in the pool, try it. It's try and error. You fall down, you get back up. And the road is not going to be easy, but it's definitely going to be worth it at the end. So it's that, you know, prepare your mind 100% to be prepared for that situation, for the good and the bad. And I think when you really work in something you love, like, it's fulfilling, you know, it makes you feel good. Even if you don't see too much money at the beginning, it's that, it makes you feel good. And believe in yourself, like I was telling somebody the other day and told myself as well yesterday actually, is whatever your dream is, believe in yourself and bro, like, be your number one fan you know don't do it to please a thousand people like do it to please yourself first and be your fucking number one fan you know i think that's what is also gonna get you you know out there so yeah just a few thoughts and what i've learned here is definitely that step out of your comfort zone you know don't settle for less have patience uh trust the timing and the process and you know sometimes these things sound cliche but i come to realize with so many podcasts i've listened to and so many inspiring true stories that the cliches are true dreams do come true you can do whatever you set your mind to um you know, oh, what else? What else? I had another one in mind. Um, everything happens for a reason. So, yeah. <sighs> Just wanted to share that with you because I'm so happy today. I feel good. There's many times where I, it's not like this. Guys, like, I've cried so much here. And I am going to share my experience of working here in the mine or in Australia in the hospitality industry. It's been such a roller coaster. Like, especially here, I've cried so many times, but you have no clue how hard it is to get yourself back up. And I've done it. So I'm so proud of myself. And that's another thing. Like, be proud of yourself and what you do. So I'm so proud of myself for getting my ass back up every day and just smashing it another day to reach my dreams and my goals because I have a purpose, you know. Um, because it's very easy to quit, especially here. Like, I've trained so many people and then the next week they're gone. <laughs> you know, they quit. So I don't judge anybody. Like, you have your reasons. I have my reasons to stick through get myself back up so today i realized that that 
the main reason was that to actually learn how to be consistent, you know, have patience. And the journey and the path is hard to reach your dream. There's going to be obstacles, but once you reach to the end, it's going to be beautiful. So stay tuned for those beautiful moments where I'm going to be out of here and I'm finished with this chapter in my life at that moment where I learned so much. So I'm going to be sharing that experience with you guys. Um, I can say a lot of negative things about it, but my video will be focused on the positive things I've learned working here. So I hope it gives you guys a lesson and you guys can learn something from it or at least get inspired with this true story of <laughs> Diana Gutierrez uh, moving to Australia you know with not knowing her purpose or her dreams and after two years of roller coaster rides like different jobs moving there moving here I actually found my purpose and I have meaning in life and I've accomplished so many dreams that I am so proud of myself and so happy for so yeah hope to share that with you guys soon so stay tuned and thank you so much for listening if you have this video like I said is mostly for me but I do want to share it with my close friends because it can inspire you too and be helpful for you or somebody else so yeah thank you for listening and keep your head up baby girl because you're a badass bitch <laughs> that's what i tell myself all the time so tell yourself the same thing when you're going through a tough situation all righty peace out thank you so much Whatever you put your mind to, and your dreams and your goal, put your mindset to that and you're gonna make it as well. Trust me, trust the journey, be patient. And last thing, guys, it's so important and sometimes we don't remember to do it. Be grateful every fucking day, even if it's shit, even if it's hard. Whatever it is you're going through, be grateful. Every day, wake up. Take a few deep breaths in and out. <sighs> Go out, look at the sun. Um, recharge yourself with energy. And be fucking grateful every day for small things. I was grateful every morning I would look at the sun, breathe. That's my three-minute fucking meditation for my 11-hour shifts every day. I would look at the sun and just be grateful for having two legs, for being able to walk, for being able to work, for having Marvin by my side, for being physically healthy, for being healthy in general. So yeah, once you're grateful, trust the process, trust the journey stuff will come your way yeah just that alrighty now for real I gotta get back to work see you guys later in my next chapter of, blah, blah, blah. see you guys later in my next chapter of life stay tuned